Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Children of the Corn. This is from Arrow Video USA, and it's based off of a book from Stephen King. What this is about, it's about this couple, this young couple, that get lost on these back rural roads of Nebraska, and a little accident happens, and they have to get to the closest town, which is the town of Gatlin. And when they get there, the town's pretty much abandoned, but it's not actually abandoned. All the children are left, and the children are part of this cult, and they want to sacrifice the adults to he who walks behind the rose. Now, this is a movie that I'm sure... A lot of people have seen this movie. This is just another edition of it from Arrow Video USA. And it's really a, a fantastic, um, you know, edition. And it's really a fantastic edition that they came out with this. I would say, if you don't have any editions of this movie, this is the one to get. This is a beautiful, beautiful copy. Uh, the picture looks fantastic. It's cleaned up a lot but it doesn't give anything away. There's not like any uh, hardcore special effects that you're gonna like, you know, it's gonna be revealed to you. I think it makes the movie just, it just makes it look so much nicer and perfect. And it, just, it this is definitely an awesome edition. The book actually came out in 1977, but the movie came out in 1984. And the movie stars a very young Linda Hamilton. Most people probably know her from as Sarah Connor from The Terminator. And also Peter Horton's in this. Again, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this and I really can't really get into great detail about it. In fact, telling the story of what this is about, you, you kind of like can't say a lot because you don't want to give things away. Now for as many times that I have seen this movie, I'd say this time was my favorite time to watch it. I don't know what it was, but for this time I, I just paid attention more, I noticed more things, uh, and it was it was just great. I just really, really liked it. The movie does leave you with some questions, like what exactly is he who walks behind the rose, and you know, how did this movie spawn so many sequels to it, but you know, the sequels don't really matter. You know, it, this is the one that started it all, obviously. In fact, the first time I ever saw this movie, I remember the very beginning scene, uh, it, it like kind of scarred me for a little bit because it kind of scared me. Like, I was, I don't know how young I was when I saw it, but I just thought, you know, a bunch of kids, you know, killing adults, like, that's crazy. They actually call this, I believe it's right here on the cover, it says, an adult nightmare. So, and it makes sense if you, if you see the movie, when you see the movie. But yeah, I really do like this edition, and uh, I'm gonna go into a little more right now. There are a lot of special features on this edition too, like brand new audio commentary with horror journalist Justin Bame and Children of the Corn historian John Sullivan, audio commentary with director Fritz Kirsch, I don't know if I said his last name right, but with, with him, producer Terrence Kirby and actors John Franklin and Courtney Gaines, uh, Harvesting Horror, which is a retrospective documentary featuring interviews with Fritz, John Franklin, and Courtney Gaines. It was the 80s, an interview with actress Linda Hamilton, and I believe that was from 2009. Uh, and a Child Shall Lead Them is a brand new interview with actors Julie Medellina and John Philbin. And then Field of Nightmares is a new interview with writer George Goldstein, Goldsmith. Uh, then Stephen King on a show, shoestring. There's uh, Welcome to Gatlin, Sights and Sounds. Uh, there's like Return to Gatlin, which is where they, you know, show the iconic filming locations in there. It's actually, I believe, like four different towns, but they make it look like one. Uh, very interesting. And uh, there's the infamous Lost Blue Man scene down here as well. There's also Disciples of the Crow, which is the 1983 short film adaptation of Stephen King's story. And along with the storybook or storyboard gallery, original theatrical trailer, and then this reversible sleeve inside, but you get this sleeve here, and it's commissioned artwork from Gary Pullen. You see it? There's a slip cover there. And this is a really, really nice slip cover. I gotta say, um very beautiful. It's a very beautiful slipcover. I I love that I love that cover. I love the colors to it. 
it reminds me of autumn time and uh you know there's interesting things in interviews where they talk about with the corn changing color and stuff like that and you know different things that were in the book that they couldn't really do on a budget you know in the movie but uh you know and anyway the cover though it, it's it feels really smooth and nice it's really really a an awesome slip cover and here's the reversible sleeve and here's the new artwork on the front and then if you want to change it you can change it to the original cover here which is probably what everybody's seen and the image alone is kind of scary you know you don't it's it's a weapon you don't know what what's going to happen and you just know something bad's going to happen but uh you know always i always will love the original but i really think this one is amazing as well and here is the blu-ray which is region a and there is no dvd in here but it does come with a poster and a booklet and here's the booklet really nice cover lots of red and everything shows you you know the usual things that are in here pictures and stories and you know the transfer and you know cast and crew credits stuff like that and they got this really nice not too big of a poster but it's a mini poster and it's really a, a nice you know poster but you here you have the original cover on one side and if you don't want that you can have this newer artwork which is actually going sideways which is awesome like that's really cool usually the poster's reversible it's on that side you know and then it's on this side but uh it's i've never seen it come in an arrow edition that ones that i have anyway come sideways like this and i think that's awesome i think that's a great idea that you can do that and that cover is fantastic there was one moment in the movie where it kind of looked like it wasn't cleaned up that great it looked like it was almost not touched but it was only for like maybe three seconds and then it went away and that might have been due to part of the film being like really old and that's the best they can do with it but it really didn't like bother me it's just that i'm looking for that kind of stuff and i noticed it but i think just uh anybody just watching it they're not really going to notice or care and like always i do watch these with the subtitles on and the subtitles were very very good i didn't notice um any like words cut off or uh you know he said one thing and then they say the words on there is something different i didn't notice any of that so i do enjoy the movie a lot i really enjoy it the last time i watched it with this and then seeing the interviews and everything adds even more to it like seeing now now if i when i go to watch it again i'll see a part and i'll be like oh i know how they did that i know what they had to do to go through what they had to go through to get that done and you know what like they made like the monster he was like real cheap like a hundred dollars and then another kind of thing was like a fifty dollar just for the movie and it looks it looks good you know it looks it, it they pulled it off and it's just movie magic like that that is awesome because there was no cgi back then and it was just cool to see that this is pulled off and actually scary so i would definitely say this is the edition to get i don't know if they're going to come out another edition of this um you know who if somebody does i'm sure somebody will sometime down the road but i would say right now this is probably the best edition out there it's just for the special edition alone for all the special features it's worth it there's just so much to watch on this edition and uh it is like i said region a so only region a but that's it, everybody thanks for watching make sure to check out the trailer for this in the description box below and i'm also going to put in the description box a link to adam the woo the daily woo he actually did recently a uh he went on the scene he went to where they um recorded this where they made this movie like the different parts and he shot like different scenes like where again i don't want to give anything away but things that happened in a town he went there and he like did like a shot for shot kind of thing it's really an interesting you know uh i wouldn't say behind the scenes but location you know he goes to the location shoots and it was really interesting to watch so when i'm watching this i was actually thinking of him as well checking out all these places so i'm going to put that link below and if you go and check out his video make sure you tell him i sent you please but uh yeah that's it everybody thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and you know as always check out the links below where you can follow me on other parts of social media and that's it, everybody thanks for watching and i'll talk to everybody later bye